I mean, just having the ability to go on to Blender Stack Exchange and find any single Blender Python script and come over here uh, without knowing anything about programming and use that script. Auto GPT for Blender. Okay, I just released the um, Fast Autonomous GPT-4 script generator with automatic error fixing. Uh, let me turn on full screen here. Uh, this is Fast Animation Studio Tools. One of the things that has tons of features, I like this right here, you're in full screen. You got a Windows button right there. It's awesome. And we have 370 uh, plus more operators. Uh, but right now we're looking at the uh, fast autonomous GPT-4 uh, script generator with automatic error fixing. This is the entirety of the panel. We spent four months on this, uh, getting this thing up to code. Um, and uh, it's really awesome. Uh, we developed a system in order to uh, test the add-on and basically we scan a local version of Blender Stack Exchange uh, with this operator right here. It uh, looks through all the Blender Stack Exchange scripts and when it finds one uh, that has an error, uh, then it um, starts the auto GPT um, or autonomous GPT-4 uh, script generator starting right now uh, with automatic error fixing um, to go ahead and fix the script. It's really awesome. Uh, we designed this system so that every time we find an error, uh, we'll see what the error fixing does and then we'll make uh, slight adjustments, fine tune it, and, um, you know, just make sure it's working in um, all situations. Uh, we like to provide general approaches to fixing the scripts uh, that work for multiple scripts. If we have to, we'll make um, very specific uh, changes here and there to the code. Uh, if we have to deal with specific errors uh, that we can't approach generally, but uh, basically you can see it going now. Um, I think, uh, what did we have? Script executed successfully. So basically this is the beta release right here. Um, yeah, we have um, one slight issue. We know, I know this like the back of my hand. So uh, give me just one second and I'll tell you what I fixed. See, everything worked fine here. Uh, we got error check completed, no errors detected. Uh, it went through, um, you can scroll up and look at the red error lines or the red error sections of code. Uh, that's the initial one where we got it from uh, Blender Stack Exchange and found the initial error. That doesn't really count. It's under the assistant response section. Uh, we go ahead and scroll down error one. Uh, we're looking for red error sections. Red error section one. Um, yeah, we make so many changes to this stuff. I don't even know what I did here. Oh, right, right here. I put the uh, print statement uh, in red for uh, the tester to see if it has the proper function and operator calls which is necessary. Uh, so when it runs it in the, uh, when it runs the error test, the script has to have the proper operator calls uh, so that um, we can test the functionality properly. And it's better to have the AI add those calls. But basically, um, this is the first error section, I think. Yeah, th this is the first technical error section. This one, scroll down, yeah, just one loop, and it got it. Uh, basically, the only thing I got to fix uh, real quick right here is I've been doing a lot. I hooked 
I hooked up the uh, normal functionality that you run uh, with the auto GPT-4 button. This is the main button used to run it, but I created a script fixing engine with this scan and fix uh, Blender Stack Exchange scripts button. And that essentially, um, in the Blender Stack Exchange folder, that goes through uh, post XML, which is the entire Blender Stack Exchange website downloaded uh, every question and answer. Uh, it's a 300 megabyte file, but you can see uh, one question and answer per line. It extends um, down uh, over 200,000 lines. So it's a 300 megabyte file, but that's what this does. It scans that file and uh, then uh, when it finds a script with an error, uh, it runs this right here basically with different parameters. So basically when uh, this right here, the scan fix BSE scripts button calls this, um, the special handling that is provided um, did not cause the script to get run at the end. That's the only thing, script executed successfully. So when that happens, I just go to the operator file. I do a search for script executed successfully, find that, and we're on the run in text editor global. That That's the function that causes that the um, script gets added to the text editor. See, right now the script is in the fixed code PY. Every iteration that a script gets fixed, so you never have to fix an error again, it's added to fixed code PY in this box. And I just open that file and this is the script. This is the fixed script that it said was fine. Uh, so uh, we could go ahead and run that in the text editor and uh, see what it does. Uh, right now I'm working with it on adding the proper um, objects. I'm not certain if it added the right object on this one. Uh, yeah, it did. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let me move this cube out of the way. That's the only thing it wasn't doing is sometimes if a script needed an object, it wasn't adding it. No, it didn't add the... Um, um, it didn't add the curve. A curve is necessary for this functionality. I have no idea how it worked or it hid the curve because this is the right output uh, when the curve was added for this script. I worked with this script a couple times, uh, pulling it from Blender Stack Exchange. Um, yeah, it's uh, we're in the AI age. So it doesn't uh, make sense anymore logically to um, look at code or try and read it anymore. So this is what I do. Okay, go ahead and look at this script and uh, just note that this is um, code to interoperate with um, curves. Uh, just go ahead and make sure or let me know uh, where the um, curve is being created. I'm positive a curve is being created here because I'm not getting any errors. Uh, so just output the line of code exactly. Show me where the curve is being created so I can see it. See, ChatGPT is awesome. You tell it exactly, precisely what you want to have done, and you know it'll work perfect every time. Okay, yeah, so it created the curves, uh, the curve right here. Okay, so I didn't see it. It wasn't in the viewport. Uh, let me ask it real quick. The script, the curve wasn't in the viewport. Uh, do you know why that is? It should have been at the center of the viewport. No, I'm telling you the curve was not in the viewport. Analyze the script and let me know where exactly uh, the curve is in my scene. It says it does not place the curve object in the viewport. You need to create an object from the curve data. Okay, so, so in Blender, you could create curve data without creating a curve object, you're saying? 
Okay, so I guess that's what happened. Okay, that's awesome. So uh, I just added this um, new instruction uh, basically down here um, in my write code instructions. You have to give a keyword when you're asking for script generation and you give the keyword write code. These are the instructions. And earlier I added if you encounter... Um, Oh, if the script is designed to interact with an object and a specific object name wasn't provided by the end user, create the necessary object in the script so that no extra actions are required by the end user. Um, so I guess that's what it decided to do, but that's good because it has to create the, the objects. Otherwise, we're going to run through all this error testing that we're doing. And if the object isn't even created, we're going to miss... Uh, all the errors that uh, the code that interoperates with the object can throw. So, um, okay, so that's basically where we're at. Yeah, this is, uh, we're going to be making a ton of videos on this. This is genius code. Uh, I, I put it together. Basically, um, uh, we wanted to, uh, we started to try and make something like auto GPT, uh, we were going to take auto GPT, uh, because it was, uh, you know, praised by Forbes magazine, uh, the best tool ever. But the thing is with auto GPT, it has no place to run Blender scripts. I mean, it could fix Python code and so can this, but it has no system to, um, generate or no, no system to test, uh, the Blender scripts once it's, um, uh, once it's generated, so you, you can tell it to generate Blender Python code, but it won't do it. So I had to create my, uh, well, we had to create our own. Our team had to create our own and um, basically uses the script error checker. This is line 395. Script error checker goes all the way down to... Um, 1544, the error checking system is over 1,200 lines of code. Uh, I mean, all this stuff in here is necessary. Um, and uh, oh, there's some commented lines. But um, yeah, I actually forgot where I was. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, basically that was my outro anyways. Uh, I don't have to remember where I was. Uh, the important thing is that um, I get this information out to people because this thing works gold. Uh, we started off uh, having um, issues uh, with it not modeling. Uh, you know, we wanted to see if we could create something to get it to model. And it turns out the main thing is that uh, if you give it good example code, uh, then it can write the thing. So... Uh, you know, I went ahead and, um, uh, I went ahead and I found, uh, online, I looked up this, um, Blender Spaceship Generator. And, um, oh, right here. Yeah, I found this one right here, but this was eight years ago or four years ago. So I put it right in the script fixer and it got it working uh, right away. Uh, I, we kind of, well, actually, it took a couple of tries. We had to learn some stuff, but we incorporated what we learned. So now it could uh, fix this code. But uh, in here, uh, we have the precursor for, um, you know, making um, awesome modeling functionality. Uh, basically, if you give it the good example code, uh, then it will um, generate, um, it'll be able to model. Okay, and we got the, um, I was looking everywhere for code that did some modeling so I didn't have to sit here and write some. And then I found this and uh, now it's in the examples file. Um, and um, so basically if I run this now, you can tell we got this right here. It does this awesome uh, modeling job right there. So now when you call to, uh, you know, do any sort of modeling with uh, B mesh or using BM face or BM edge, any of the B mesh 
uh, operators or a lot of them, uh, it's going to find this example in this fixed code and it'll know exactly how to write this stuff for you. Uh, so, you know, we, we had to do some special handling too, uh, for, um, animation stuff. We created special functions to save, uh, bone data to a file and save bone rotation data to a file because it can uh, animate for you if it doesn't know bone names and it helps to give it approximate rotation values. So that's basically where we're at. This is the initial uh, video. So if you have any questions or uh, you're one of my customers uh, or one of our customers, uh, you know, uh, quite a few of us have worked on this. Um, but um if you have any questions at all, uh, we want to hear back from you. Uh, basically, on uh, basically, this is our uh, support page. Um, it's a little gritty, but um, you know, anytime, all you got to do is uh, come here. There's a button um, when you call it from within the add-on. Um, report issues uh it takes you right here uh you just file a new ticket we want to hear from you all the time so if there's ever any issue if there's a script it doesn't work on anything like that uh like you're trying to create a script that'll make geometry nodes and it's not working we want to hear about that so add that here and then um we'll start uh working on it and figuring out the fixes basically uh, main thing is just giving it the proper code examples and instructions. So uh, if you are a programmer or you have any scripts around, if you make a feature request for something, um, like any sort of feature request for functionality to this, and you have a script or uh, written instructions or a tutorial, feel free to send that as well. Uh, thank you very much. This is Joe Morris uh, from uh, FastBlenderAddons.com and uh, also, uh, you know, Gumroad. Um, I don't think I have. Yeah, here's the Gumroad page. Made it a lot better. Auto GPT for Blender. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, just come by and get this. Uh, I mean, just having the ability to go on to Blender Stack Exchange and find any single Blender Python script and come over here uh, without knowing anything about programming and use that script, it's absolutely the best thing in the world. So uh, you will get a lot of use out of this and we're gonna be updating it all the time. If there's ever any issue, we pride ourselves on being a world first in uh, this kind of thing for Blender Python. So let us know right away and we'll fix it. And Auto GPT for Blender. Thank you very much.